peace be upon you. I was awaiting for you to arrive. Please sit down. I'm sure you can sense the evil that is spreading ruthlessly upon the souls of the people of the Earth. I have no hidden agendas or personal interests. I don't plan to manipulate, trick, or deceive you. I merely hope to enlighten you towards a truth. We live at a time where people are being set upon a false path, one that corrupts their minds with sin and disbelief. We are becoming vile and cruel. While some commit minor sins, others are causing children to be orphaned putting them through poverty and starvation as they hide behind titles. But they are all to blame equally. Those who are committing minuscule sins are following blindly. They listen and never question, follow and never think. Enter wars to cause bloodshed and crisis without even considering a solution. How many families have buried their young how many lives have we lost to war? Is it not enough? Immoral relationships have ruined our families, shattered our bonds, and allowed crime to parent our children. Simple mistakes have infected our bodies with fatal diseases and have killed our infants before they even came to life. Greed has made 850 million people go to bed hungry every night and search for creative ways to deal with their discomfort while four billion others live on under four dollars a day. Evil is hunting down more and more people as I'm talking to you right now. It is like a hungry beast that feeds on dragging us to pain, misery, and suffering. But we need to ask ourselves, who is it to blame? If you think all of this is happening because of our leaders, then remember that those leaders exist because we are allowing them to. The problem doesn't lie with them, but it lies deep inside us. We are the ones responsible for every tear, every scream, and every pain. Our Almighty God created each one of us as a unique individual. He blessed us with hearts to feel His presence eyes to see his magnificent creations, and ears to hear his message. But overwhelmed by the temptations of this materialistic world, we turned our backs on our Creator and betrayed the purpose of our existence. Instead, we use our eyes to look at what takes us away from him. Our hearts love what God hates. Our ears listen to what goes against his beautiful teachings. We use the blessings of our Creator to satisfy our own selfish desires. We have become experts in material goods and worldly affairs, but completely ignorant in matters of the hereafter. This has caused our souls to suffer a slow death. We have become heedless. Our heedlessness about God has torn us apart. Rather than being filled with love and kindness, we have become sources of evil and hate. Arrogance has divided us into labels, colors, and categories, ignoring the fact that we are all humans. 
We observe injustice and conform to it. We follow tyranny rather than oppose it. Heedlessness is a disease that does not only harm you as an individual, but it also spreads its pain to your fellow man. In the name of democracy, countries have been destroyed. In the name of peace, lands have been occupied. In the name of God, innocents have been slaughtered. You might not carry the gun, but being heedless about the crime still makes you guilty. So I am sorry, in the way to God, I will not provide you with weapons, but I will arm you with knowledge that can set your soul and the souls of others free. You need to ask yourself, has your time not yet come? Isn't this the perfect moment to strive towards God and repent your sins? To you who can hear me, I encourage you to listen to the voice of your screaming soul, yearning for a glimpse of salvation. It is telling you that this is the perfect moment to strive towards God. It is the perfect moment to repent your sins. This is the time for change. The Holy Quran in chapter 13 verse 11 says, Indeed God will not change the condition of a people, until they change what is in themselves. Let us all unite to stop the wars we are launching against each other and begin the war against the real enemy, the enemy within. Let us all start a global battle against our evil habits, evil sins, and evil traits. Let us purify our souls and illuminate the earth with our divine light. It doesn't matter what your skin color is or how much wealth you have. The way to God can unite us all under the one who created us all. So let us strive together, work together, and fight together to be the change we want to see in the world. All it takes is seven tactics, practiced daily over 40 days. You can repent your sins Enjoy your life, change the world, and finally, heaven will be your abode. This is the way to God. Enter in peace. So to who you are.